If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. It turns out that to find the work done on the object, we can use the work kinetic energy theorem, which states that the work done on the object is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Now we recall the expression for kinetic energy is one half times the mass of the object times its speed squared. So in order to proceed, we're going to need to know the final speed as well as the initial speed of the object. And to find that speed, we just have to remind ourselves that speed is equal to the derivative of the position function with respect to time. So we can take this position function that was given in the question and compute its derivative. So we'll take the derivative term by term. The derivative of 3t will just be 3. We can use the power rule for the next term where we pull the power down and multiply by the coefficient. So 4 times 2 gives us 8. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent to give us t to the first power. And then we'll use the power rule again. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. And then subtract 1 from the exponent to give us 2. So here is the formula that we can use to get these speeds. We will first calculate the speed when the time is 0. So we'll compute v of 0. And when we plug 0 into the speed equation, those terms will cancel. And we can see that the initial speed is equal to 3 meters per second. And then we'll calculate the final speed by plugging 4 seconds into the speed equation. And when we do that, we can see that the speed at time of 4 seconds is equal to 19 meters per second. So with the initial speed and the final speed, we're going to be able to plug them into the work kinetic energy equation and solve for the work. It might be useful to first factor out a 1 half m since that appears in the first and second term. And now we can proceed to plug in the mass and the speeds. And when we simplify that on our calculator, we get approximately 528 joules. And if you wanted to write that in scientific notation, you could write 5.28 times 10 to the power of 2 joules. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.